Hey friends, my name is Josh. I'm part of the team here at Flight Tests, and today I want to talk about recreational flight and also CBOs. Now there's a lot of questions around both topics, but here at Flight Tests, we really believe that model aviation is something to be celebrated as a tool to impact people positively. Now with that said, a lot of people have common questions here around recreational flying and also CBOs, and we want to answer those. Hi Josh, what is the importance of recreational flying? Recreational model aviation is incredibly important because it is the gateway, it is the entry into flight. Oftentimes flight can be approached simply by simply building and flying your own model aircraft. Doing this not only teaches you how to build, how to fly, but also how to become a good steward of aviation itself. Along with that, people learn the disciplines of the importance of not only safe building, but safe flying and sharing the airspace around them. Recreational model aviation is also incredibly social. It gives people the benefit to connect with each other, share information, and encourage one another whether they're crashing or flying. How do you approach encouraging people to enter the hobby? The point at which people decide to get into the hobby is really important, and it's really important for us as hobbyists to encourage one another to get into the hobby. Doing so is as simply as just sharing your love for the hobby that you're personally in, but also inviting people along with that journey. Oftentimes when people start in the hobby, they may not know exactly what they need to buy, how they need to get into it, and even how to fly. This is oftentimes a really great bridge to build a really great friendship and also influence those people to be able to get in the hobby themselves. How does recreational flying build community? Recreational model aviation is incredibly important for building community. Basically, because you can actually build and fly your own plane, there's so much knowledge being shared, it has to be done in a relational mindset. It has to be done with one person helping another person get over those hurdles to learn about that. It's just simply not always gonna be buy and fly. It's gonna be create, build, fly. And oftentimes it also spurs on other opportunities for people to design together, to have activities together. And it's also a really great catalyst to enter into schools where kids can learn about the principles of math and physics and literacy all around a centralized project. What is the importance of community for the hobby? And community is incredibly important for the hobby. It is incredibly difficult to teach people safe operations when they simply go out by themselves, get a model aircraft and try to teach them how to fly. Oftentimes things like sharing the airspace, where to fly and where not to fly. Uh, how to make sure that your airplane is safe to fly is oftentimes just not understood and therefore it cannot be followed. A community that celebrates aviation together gives people the opportunity to learn safe operation while they're getting in the hobby. This is a foundational level thing that people can enjoy, they can connect, they can share over, and it's gonna give them a great start so they don't end up accidentally falling into that pitfall of doing something that's unsafe for themselves or for others. Community also is a really great catalyst to be able to encourage and set a standard of safe operation of flight uh, where people can then use that as a basis to model themselves after. What is your understanding of what a CBO should be? Now, CBOs and model aviation have recently come up and it is incredibly important to make sure that CBOs are serving the vision of what model aviation can do uh, in aviation in general. Uh, that means safety, that means educational programs, that means events and activities, but it also means setting a great example and a pattern that people can easily follow to be able to be good stewards of the hobby and also give them a path for aviation uh, that takes their passion and their hobby and leads it into a profession. Uh, one thing we really feel strongly about flight tests and why we model ourselves as a CBO is because we recognize that model aviation is a tool, it's not just an activity. That means that model aviation can grow people through uh, a parental relationship, it can grow people in STEM, it can be a great outreach mechanism, and it can also be a great pathway to a future profession, whether you're an airline pilot, whether you're working in flight, or even designing aircraft in the future. How can CBOs protect the future of the hobby? CBOs also have a really important role, and that's protecting the future of the hobby. That's basically making sure that people understand how to safely operate uh, model aircraft and how to also enjoy it. And, and that's not only with the flight aspect, that's with also the building, with the designing, and the also future advocacy of the hobby to grow it as well too. Uh, we really believe that CBOs should be protecting the hobby through education, through mentorship, and also setting a good example for others to follow. So with Flight Test, we've been around over 10 years now, and the vision that we're sharing for you now is a vision that we started with and it's also what's grown our community to almost 2 million subscribers. We believe that every one of those relationships that we have with our community are vitally important to not only move model aviation forward but also move the world of aviation forward. We really hope that this time to kind of explain things and break things down with these common questions helped you but also tune in for Droning On After Dark where I'm going to be speaking with Elena and unpack this even more. Thanks for watching.